All right, guys. Well, at least for the next 10 minutes, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. You're on this right now lovely Friday. That would be February 23rd, 2024, as we wait for the rain to blow through. I'm heading to the dump, and you know, it. I think it has rained every single day that I have ever gone to the uh, Citrus County landfill. If a Citrus County is ever in a drought, what they need to do is get me to go to the landfill and uh, they, they, they will get some rain. So here's what it looks like now. Uh, by the time I get to the landfill, it will be pouring down rain and probably five minutes after I leave, it'll look like this again. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about landfills. I'm, I'm here to talk about assholes. About assholes, one of my favorite subjects. Uh, and we're going to revisit one of the uh, teachings of Don Juan Matus about dealing with petty tyrants, which was the Don Juan called, uh, his term for assholes was petty tyrants. I, <laughs> he has a, Don Juan has petty tyrants in all of these, uh, you know, classifications. You know, starting with people at the top of the asshole heap, which, which of course would be Donald Trump, is the, is the undisputed reigning asshole on planet Earth. So, you know, you, you've got assholes like that, and, and then uh, they kind of go down uh, the pyramid, uh, and he ended up with what, what did he call them, teeny weeny petty tyrants. Uh, just, just these fucking assholes, you, you know, just, just assholes that you deal with in what uh, <clears throat> Don Juan would, it was trying to explain to uh, Castaneda is if, if you can learn just to deal with assholes, with petty tyrants, you know, from the teeny weeny little rude store clerk right up uh, to, uh, you know, Donald Trump level uh, of asshole, that if you can learn to deal with the, 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 these fucking assholes, with these petty tyrants, without getting triggered by them, without, you know, getting triggered by them, sinking to their level, uh, and just becoming obsessed with them, and uh, just taking all of their asshole bullshit they throw at you personally. If you can just learn to shrug off petty tyrants, to shrug off fucking assholes, whether it be Donald Trump or some uh, Trump tard troll or a Corona pussy, just uh, whatever, and, and not be triggered by them, that you can handle whatever the universe throws at you. Whatever else the universe comes up with, if you can uh, learn to uh, j just not let these fucking assholes under your skin and, and to eat your brain. It is one of the hardest fucking things that anybody, even other assholes, uh, have to learn to live w w w with fucking assholes, uh, with the, these petty tyrants and, and assholes uh, are, are usually thought of to be male. It, it, you know, I just use the words, uh, the terms asshole and bitch uh, pr pretty much interchangeably. A, a, an asshole is, a, is male, or I guess a male bitch, and a uh, female 
uh, asshole uh, it, 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 it is a bit. So I use the terms interchangeably. You know, there, there's probably more varieties of male petty tyrants than there are female. You know, female, it's usually you think of, uh, you know, what, what would you call this? The, you know, the shrieking, shrew, drama queen, uh, psycho bitch level of bitch, uh, you know, the, the that, that kind of, uh, that kind of bitch female asshole. But, uh, there, there's all kinds. I met one at the title company uh, yesterday. Uh, I, 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 since she uh, figured out uh, what she was wrong about yesterday, I guess I won't go off on a whole rant about that bitch. But uh, she would be what Don Juan would call a teeny weeny. Uh, petty tyrant, uh, you know, just some snotty fucking uh, little bitch uh, who, who is trying to tell you something that, that, that is clearly fucking bullshit and, and, and then gaslighting you, ma making you, uh, trying to make you think you're crazy. When, when you're dealing with, with, with some fucking crazy bitch or, or, or crazy asshole. And so, you know, gaslighting is, uh, is one of the major, major tools that, uh, that assholes uh, use, uh, depending on, uh, on, on what kind of asshole they are. And uh, then, then, of course, uh, you know, an asshole can, uh, can be a different kind of asshole from day to day. Uh, you can be a teeny weeny petty tyre, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so it's not like assholes are, are, are always in one category. But, uh, so, you know, obviously people who know my, uh, uh, know my performance art, what I try to do uh, on my Humpty Dumpty tribe, uh, although a little bit I'm starting to do it on Collapse Chronicles, is, is what I, you know, I try to get uh, in the place of, and, you know, put myself uh, inside the brain uh, of an asshole and, and get on camera and, and act like a fucking asshole and one of my goals is to stir up the assholes who get triggered by assholes you know so you know like the well like that uh, corona panic uh, corona pussy rant uh, it's so fucking easy to, uh, you know, to try to get into the headspace uh, of a corona pussy or a vaccine uh, anti-vaxxers headspace and, 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 you know, do a performance of uh, what these fuckers sound like to me. But, uh, but of course, with the, 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 you know, the dump the Trumpy thing, it, 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 I mean, it works on so many levels because on, on, on the dump the Trumpy thing, it's, uh, it, it's a multi-layered, is that I, I, I try to put myself in the headspace of someone suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. And so I, I try to get myself in, in that headspace, but of course, people suffering from, from Trump derangement syndrome, who do they fucking sound like is Donald Trump. So uh, I, I try to, uh, you know, I, I, I try to put myself in the brain of Donald Trump, uh, you know, suffering from Trump derangement syndrome, so I can stir up the, the, these fucking, uh, the, these asshole Trump-tard uh, maggot trolls. 
which uh, it, it is uh, the easiest fucking uh, job I have ever had on Humpty Dumpty Tribe it, it, it is getting these little fuckwads, uh, you know, just all uh, bent out of fucking shape and just going. I mean, they, uh, I, I guess these, uh, they, they, they devote their lives to uh, searching out, you know, social media. They're part of the, the Trump online war machine. They, 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 they dedicate a large part of their lives to, uh, you know, trolling people on social media uh, that, that talk shit uh, about Donald Trump. And, of course, all they do uh, by doing this is proving exactly what the, uh, the, the, the person, you see what I'm saying, uh, talking trash uh, about the fucking Trump tards. Uh, they they prove exactly what the person is talking about. What fucking uh, assholes these are, and, and, and I am just constantly amused by this. I I, I I don't know why I'm so fascinated by assholes, but anyway, there's this uh, since I am a uh, and, and 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 don't get me wrong, that fucking bitch at the title company. Uh, I, I can only imagine what she sounded like when she got home last night. Uh, you, you know, I, I admit, uh, if anyone wants to play the asshole game w w with Hambone Littletail, uh, if I encounter a fucking asshole, unless it's a cop, you got to be very careful of the asshole battles you choose. But uh, if it's someone uh, like that fucking bitch uh, at that title company uh, talking all of that shit coming out of her ass uh, and then gaslighting me like I'm the fucking one who doesn't know what he's talking about, uh, I, I will give you asshole. You'll see fucking petty tyrant right back in your fucking face. Okay, so anybody uh, who wants to get in an asshole uh, contest with him or Little Tail, uh, I will gladly accept the asshole challenge. Uh, I, I, I always try to let the asshole or the bitch uh, throw the first punch, but once the first punch is thrown, it's no holds barred. Uh, if anybody wants to get in a fucking asshole contest with me, uh, you've met your fucking match, you fucking asshole, you fucking bitch. You've met your fucking match with me. You better goddamn believe it. Uh, I, I can be the biggest fucking asshole on the fucking planet, and it ain't no goddamn performance art. Okay? You got you, you fucking get it. But anyway, uh... You know, due to my fascination with assholes, I, I, uh, and, and, and what prompted this rant is since I have no life, and you know, pretty much my life is uh, is Netflix. So I I watched this Netflix documentary, which was pretty hard to get through for an hour and a half. I think the name of it is Mr. Organ. Mr. Organ, uh, and anybody who's interested in the in the subject of assholes and petty tyrants and all that, uh, it, it's a great educational video. So, who Mr. Organ is? It, it's just this guy. It, he lives down in New Zealand. Uh, and uh, so this journalist, this free, this freelance journalist, uh, sets out to get inside the mind of this asshole. He's, he's not famous, you know. He, he's not a a Donald Trump level uh, of of petty tyrant. He is just your basic run of the mill asshole that he just devotes his entire life 
to making other people's lives miserable. That that is the point of his existence. He uh, his name is Mr. Organ. That's his real name. Uh, he's still just out there walking around in New Zealand. Uh, being a fucking petty tyrant asshole uh, to everyone he meets, and, and and apparently that is how you know that that's how he gets his rocks off, is just making just normal people uh, just fucking miserable, but by uh, latching onto them and, uh, and 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 just being an asshole. He, he actually drove one person to jump off a nine-story building and, and, and kill himself. He actually drove somebody to suicide uh, just, just by being a fucking asshole. Obviously, the, do, the guy jumping off the nine-story building was not a uh, <laughs> was not a student of Don Juan Matus and Carlos Castaneda, and uh, so this guy, I, I mean, I mean, he's hard to explain. He's he's not one of these, you know. When I play the part of an asshole uh, on my rants, you know, I. I go for the 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 blustery, bloviating, uh, screaming, b cursing, vulgarian uh, level of asshole. I, you know, I, I try to push the envelope as far as I can uh, in, in my performance art, but this guy is not that kind of asshole, and. And, and, and like a lot of assholes, a, a, a lot of times how how he starts out is you, you know he will ingratiate himself. The guy's not stupid. He's uh, you know he's obviously intelligent, and so he can he, they, they they play this game for when they first meet their their latest victim. Uh, and, and they can actually be be quite charming and, and humorous and engaging and, and dare I say charismatic. So that they have this, the, they've developed this talent when they're sizing up their new victim that they, for whatever reason, they they just want to make miserable. Uh, they they actually so they draw in their victim. And, and gain their confidence uh, and their trust and whatnot, and, and make their victim think that that uh, th th this guy is your friend. And once that foundation has been laid, which I don't know how long it takes, you know, from uh, victim to victim, uh, how uh, how long it, it, it takes to do this, then the asshole starts creeping in and it and it doesn't have to be anything I like like I've uh, I, I, I there, there was nothing in the documentary accusing this guy of being physically abusive uh, and, and it, that he never in this entire documentary in an hour and a half he never raises his voice he uh, he doesn't use profanity he, he tries to, to come off as this very cultured, educated gentleman that, that he is just, you, you know, just this, and, and you are the asshole. And, and, and he tries to make just these normal schmucks, and any of us it can be assholes on any given day, and so maybe some of his victims are assholes every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? And, and he just latches on to them, and, and, and then he just goes in for the kill. And his main, uh, his main uh, tactic is gaslighting. Uh, which is, uh, you, you know, making the victim feel like they're the crazy one, like they're the fucking asshole. Uh, and, and, and these gaslighters, I, I guess, you know what, the, the, this journalist, I think he was just trying to figure out what is it with, I mean, what is the payoff? 
uh, for, for these fucking gaslighting uh, assholes. And, and, and they won't drop it, and they just and, and they just wear you down. That uh, you know, he was showing how the how the guy, the journalist, uh, so the so the subject uh, that he that the journalist is wor- that Mr. Organ w- working on, on the journalist. The journalist starts to actually fall for the the, the guy's game. And 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 and, uh, and this and, 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 and the, this asshole starts playing him like a fish, and and, and the and the journalist it, it understands uh, how the tables have been turned on him, uh, but but he can't help it. He gets sucked in uh, to to this fucking asshole's bullshit, and it and it completely takes over his fucking life his fucking brain uh, dealing with this fucking asshole. And, and, and all he's got to do anytime is say, fuck you, asshole. I, I, I'm, done, uh, I'm done fucking dealing with you. And he, he uh, a little bit of a spoiler alert, he finally, uh, he, he, he finally does that. But it is two years that this, uh, that, that this asshole is just... Uh, Playing him like a fish uh, with this asshole uh, game, just to fuck with the guy. Um. Uh, anyway, then, and then, then, then of course, uh, you, you know what they, you know what the journalist is talking about, uh, using this guy just as an example of how assholes uh, operate. Is that, uh, uh, of course, you know they have a, they all have a little bit of Donald Trump uh, in them that they will never take the tiniest bit uh, of responsibility for anything. That you can confront them with incontrovertible evidence, just fact. You you you, you can state. A, 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 a clearly uh, a, a, a clear fact right to their faces that any 10 year old would understand uh, there, 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 there's no room for debate here that uh, and, and, and these fuckers will deny it. They, they take it, it's not it, it, it's not just that they take no blame. It, 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 it is, it, it is, they don't take the tiniest shred of responsibility that they're always the victim. They are always the one, it is always it's the other person who is victimizing them, is lying about them. Uh, they will deny they ever said something uh, when you have it on tape that they said it. Uh, you play them back the tape. Uh, they'll they'll uh, act like uh, uh, that was was somebody else impersonating their voice. Uh, I, I mean, they, they will take zero. Uh, re- responsibility uh, for you, you know for anything. They are the victim. Everybody else is to blame, and uh, it, it, and of course uh, the main person to blame is uh, is their victim. Uh, whoever it is, whether it, 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 it's somebody sitting across from you at a title company, uh, right on up uh, to your wife, your husband, your employees, uh, and, and, it, and it's when you get one of these fucking assholes, you know, like, like when you marry one of these assholes or one of these bitches or you, uh, or you get hired by one or, or this army of assholes elects 
the single biggest asshole on the planet uh, to be the president of your fucking country when, when you have uh, the single biggest petty tyrant on planet Earth uh, supposedly representing you uh, as, as a fucking American. And uh, and you you announce that he's not my president, and, and, and all of these fucking uh, uh, teeny weeny petty tyrant Trump tards will attack you personally, whatever they can think of, to attack you viciously personally uh, that you are the asshole for saying that the biggest asshole on the fucking planet, uh, you know, calling him for what he is. But anyway, I am at uh, the Mexican restaurant, and uh, so hopefully I, I will not meet any assholes here, and then I will have to deal with some fucking asshole uh, at the landfill about uh, how poorly my load is covered on this windy ass day. Looks like the rain is blowing into the landfill. I'm gonna go find me some tacos while I still can. Get out there and uh, practice dealing with petty tyrants in your life because if you can learn not to get triggered by petty tyrants from Trump tards right up to Donald Trump, you can handle anything, anything that uh, life in this universe will ever throw at you. And that is a lesson from Don Juan Matus that any of us uh, need to learn, me included. This is your uh, resident asshole saying, bye guys.